two, all of these niggas is fucking dumb. Okay, so find your best dummy and settle down. Two, all of these niggas is fucking dumb. Okay, so find your best dummy and settle down. Whoa! Your job as a man, you talk about lead, provide, and protect. Y'all think that y'all provision comes from the system. Your provision means get a job. I'm crazy, I'm here. Get a job. That is not provision. Y'all think protected is just shooting things up. But what about protecting your, 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 your family from, from bogus lawsuits or, 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 or predatory uh, practices and businesses? What about protecting your family from that? How do, you, how do you protect your family from these kinds of things? See, I know how to protect my family from that. I know how to research a law. I know how to go down to the law library and, and, and research whatever I need to find. I know how to formulate the argument. I know what I'm reading. I understand how law books are written. I understand the, the, the different types of legal proceedings. So I know how to attack each one differently. That's protecting my family, bro. That is protecting. That is me being a man. Taking a time out between everything else you got going on to learn and understand the environment that you are in so that I can move in a way that provides a shield over those that depend on me. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it's true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. The man should learn his environment. He should learn how to conquer his environment, how to master his environment, how to understand his environment. You are not supposed to walk through this system as a man and not have a fundamental knowledge of government. You should have a fundamental not knowledge of law. You should have a fundamental knowledge of politics. You should have a fundamental knowledge of, 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 your, of your social surroundings, the religious ideologies, the cultural ideologies. The, the various form of, forms of activism. You should be aware of these things as a man. The problem is as men, y'all had no interest other than go to school, get a job, and I'm gonna get a wife, and I'm gonna have a family. That's all you wanted. You are a battery in the matrix, and you was willing to play that role. That's, the, that's all you wanted. But the truth is there is more to life. We live in this system. For instance, right? Me and my wife was driving to New Orleans. I get pulled over by, by, by a state trooper claiming that a little bit of light bulb on my license plate was out, right? And when he pulled me over, I asked him, well, why did you stop me? He said, well, you got a light bulb on the license plate. I jumped out the car and said, how the fuck did you even see that? I said, just like that. Okay, that's my wife. I said, how the f did you even see it? You got these bright lights shining on the reflective license plate and you could tell that a little bitty tiny light bulb was out. I said, would they train y'all to look for excuses to pull people over? Because that's, that's what that was to me. That was an excuse to pull somebody over. But anyway, while the cop was there, he had his light shining in the car, looking around. And he asked me, he asked me if there any guns in the car. And I ain't known him the first time. And the second, I actually had a pistol in the car. He asked again, are there any guns in the car? I said, why do you keep asking about guns? Guns are not illegal. This is the South, bro. Guns are not illegal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why do you keep asking me about the firearm? He said, well, it's illegal if you got drugs in the car. I said, you did not stop me for drugs. You stopped me for a light bulb on the license plate. Do you know what that officer did? He gave me back my ID and told me have a nice night. Real talk. Because he could tell that I was no dummy. Like Jay Z said, I know I, I, I'm not. I ain't passed the ball, but I know a little bit enough that you won't illegally search my shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to know a little something about the system that you live in as a man. Bring something else to the table. 
another time after Hurricane Katrina, FEMA did not give my wife anything, right? Gave her, I think, $2,500. About a year later, they had the nerve to ask for the $2,500 back. Yeah, saying that she couldn't provide receipts for what she purchased with that money, she had to send the money back to the federal government. So you know what I did? I wrote out an affidavit, got it stamped and notarized, saying this is what we did with the money, and sent it in. Case ended. Case dismissed. They say, okay, this case has been resolved. You wouldn't have thought of that because you don't have a working knowledge of law. You don't know that an affidavit is binding. A sworn affidavit is binding. That was as good as receipts as far as the court order is concerned. You wouldn't have known that. And it's not just that throughout the time, you know, if you're around, you know that dentist offices try to, dentists, they try to jip you, doctor's offices always try to jip you, you always, you always get charges for things that you didn't ask for, you get the bill in the mail and, and, and it's a thousand dollars more than you expected and all this kind of stuff. We've had those situations, but every time we've had it, I addressed it legally and have won the case. Every time. I've had personal friends that have foreclosure issues. I took their cases, won the cases. I've had personal friends that were being sued. I helped them out in their cases, won the cases. Because I have a fundamental knowledge of the system that I live within. I have a working knowledge of government, of politics, of law, because this is what men supposed to do. We are supposed to understand the environment that we are in. You're not a man if you don't know nothing about the law. And you're not a man if you ain't willing to stand on the principles of the law. It's just another thing y'all do. Y'all do all that yapping, but if I gave y'all something to file in court, you get scared. Oh man, I don't want no problems with these people. But, but go sit your cow ass down, man. Go sit down somewhere, bro. You're not a man. A man will stand on what he know to be right and true. And that's why my girl respect me, bro. Got nothing to do with my income. Which really, I don't make a lot of money no more. I made a lot of money at one time. I lost it. I lost that source of income. And since then, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just getting through like everybody else. My girl don't look at me strange. She don't look at me differently. Because she knows that I bring more to the table than just income. I bring certain attributes, certain tangibles to the table that help us maneuver through this system. Right now, we have say, we have stacked up a couple of, you know, we, we stacked some stuff up, right? We about to make moves that's gonna get us off this system free and clear. Yeah, because I have a fundamental understanding of this. This is my way. My ex right now, the, the, the Creole one, she has a house right now that she purchased using my methods that I taught her when she was with me. As a man, you gotta bring more to the table. Y'all always talk about leading. How can you lead when you don't even understand the, 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 the society that you're in? When, I, when I'm telling you that a man is supposed to master, first understand his environment and then master it. Say you off on an island somewhere, you get stuck on the island. You supposed to figure out what everything is out there. Well, right now we are in this uh, uh, American system and most of you brothers couldn't even name the three branches of government. Like Dr. Umar Johnson talking about he gonna go to change.org, get a thousand signatures or something like that and get the Supreme Court to overturn. So it don't work that way, bro. It don't work that way, bro. So with all the education you got, you don't even have a fundamental understanding of government. You don't have a fundamental understanding of our laws. You don't even understand what a common law is versus a civil law or statutory law. You couldn't even argue the difference. You see, that's the problem. I have a, I have a child support package to help men fight child support, but it addresses the law from, a, from an angle that a lot of these men just simply are unaware of and they're scared to address it like that. And then they say, but why no lawyer ever did like this? And well, the lawyers go through the machine. They go through the indoctrination system. They are not taught to think a certain way. I didn't go through a system. I learned law fighting for my life. I was in the penitentiary fighting my case. 
and I was fighting other cases at the same time. I had a load, I had a case load. So not only was I fighting my case, I was fighting other cases that I had that people brought to me. But I learned the law by actually fighting for something, like a man should. When I was in that environment, I learned Spanish because I was surrounded by people that spoke Spanish. I needed to, understand, I needed to know what they were saying. Now, my, my ability to speak it and hear it has diminished, but I can still read it. Reading is a different skill. I can still read Spanish very well, very well. And I can still hear it good enough to know what you're saying. Same thing with Arabic. You can't speak Arabic around me think you will insult me. I'm gonna I'm I'm catch enough words to know what you're saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you get my point. A man is supposed to understand the environment that he's in. So a lot of you dudes have really just have really just dropped the ball on, on, on what it means to be a man because you look for the easiest route, which was go to school, get a job, and go get your wife. That's what you wanted. Go to school, get a job, go get your wife and have a family. Forget about the government. Although this stuff affects us. Forget about how economics actually operates. Although this stuff affects us. Forget about the ills of capitalism. Although this stuff affects us. All these things affect you in your real world and you know nothing about it outside of what you hear on some podcast or some, on Fox News or, or MSNBC. That's all you know. By some fake expert, by some fake academic. All you know about the world you live in is what the liars tell you. And the liars get it from the system. You don't know anything. You can't read a law book to save your life. I can. You couldn't write up an argument. You couldn't write it up to save your life. I can. But I'm pooky, huh? Huh? I'm the dummy, huh? And I touch type. Y'all didn't know that, huh? Yeah. I can read and type at the same time. But I'm pooky, huh? I'm computer literate. That's how I figured out all this stuff you see on, on, on my sites. All these graphics and stuff. I didn't go to school for nothing. These backgrounds that you be seeing, I created all that. The pookie. Because I have a fundamental understanding how things go. I actually had small businesses, so I understand small businesses. I actually dealt with government on different levels. I understand these things. Your job as a man, when you talk about lead, provide, and protect, y'all think that y'all provision comes from the system. Your provision means get a job. I'm crazy, I'm here. Get a job. That is not provision. Y'all think protected is just shooting things up. But what about protecting your, 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 your family from, from bogus lawsuits or, 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 or predatory uh, practices and businesses? What about protecting your family from that? How do, you, how do you protect your family from these kinds of things? See, I know how to protect my family from that. I know how to research a law. I know how to go down to the law library and, and, and research whatever I need to find. In fact, there's an online law library, actually. I know how to formulate the argument. I know what I'm reading. I understand how law books are written. I understand the, the, the different types of legal proceedings. So I know how to attack each one differently. That's protecting my family, bro. That is protecting. That is me being a man. Taking a time out between everything else you got going on to learn and understand the environment that you are in so that I can move in a way that provides a shield over those that depend on me. I bring more to the table. I provide more as far as provision than just money. I bring wisdom to the table. I bring understanding to the table. I bring a knowledge base to the table. I am a man. I am an alpha. And the reason why you dudes are in the conditions y'all in because y'all have dropped the ball. You don't understand the world that you live in. You're always talking. Always yapping, but you don't have a, a, a you don't you don't know nothing about nothing because everything you everything you say and everything you believe is given to you by those that lie. And y'all want to challenge and question me. Talk about I'm I'm pushing the agenda of white folks, huh? Okay. <laughs> uh, if you say so, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time I'm out of here, I'm Brother Kush, aka the Black Alpha. So I'm